The World Health Organization now calls vaccine hesitancy one of the top 10 threats to global health. And Ethan Lindenberger says he saw firsthand how misinformation put him and the people around him at risk. My mother would turn to anti-vaccine groups online and on social media looking for her evidence and defense rather than health officials and through credible sources. Testifying on Capitol Hill Tuesday, Ohio teen Ethan Lindenberger blamed social media for his mom's views on vaccination. When he turned 18, he defied her, doing his own research and getting vaccinated. Where do you get most of your information? From not Facebook, I mean from CDC, uh, the World Health Organization, um, scientific journals, and also cited information from those uh, organizations. I'd love to be a guest at Thanksgiving dinner at your house. That'd be a <laughs> but health experts say it's no laughing matter. So-called anti-vaxxers have blanketed social media with misinformation campaigns and hundreds of anti-vaccine websites, all designed to scare families. The only science that's settled is that vaccines harm. Parents will say, well, I don't remember getting a lot of vaccines when I was a kid. And the truth of the matter is, you didn't. By the time we got home, I saw a difference. His demeanor changed. His face, his eyes, there was an emptiness, a blankness to his eyes. And drown out real science and information. Those anecdotes can really tear at your heart, but they don't, they don't bring you to the part where you learn the science behind the safety of vaccines. So I think it's a huge problem. Some researchers fear anti-vaccine campaigns may be to blame for measles outbreaks in 11 states so far this year, mostly among unvaccinated children. In fact, in the first two months of 2019, the CDC has reported more cases of measles than in all of 2016 and 2017 combined. It's a public health nightmare, actually, because children are actually getting the diseases that were eliminated from our country years ago. Right now, most states allow religious exemptions to vaccinations, and 17 states allow personal belief exemptions. Under growing pressure to combat misinformation, social media companies are taking action. YouTube now posts educational links about vaccines below all anti-vax videos. Facebook says it tries to fact check vaccine posts and those with inaccuracies rank lower in people's feeds than truthful articles. As for the Lindenbergers, Ethan's siblings still are not vaccinated, but he doesn't blame his mom. For my mother, her love, affection and care as a parent was used to push an agenda to create a false distress. And these sources which spread misinformation should be the primary concern of the American people. Now, while they disagree, Ethan's mom says she respects his decision as an adult and she is extremely proud. Facebook told us it's working on additional changes to combat vaccine misinformation. Those guys will be announced soon. Okay. All right, Kristen, thank you. It's like wildfire on those um, social media, for sure. We are going to bring in NBC News medical correspondent Dr. John Torres to talk to us about all yes. this. You know, before we were going to bust some myths this mm -hmm. morning, but I was just talking to you in the break and asking... If people who get back, they would say, if you don't get vaccinated, you're threatening others. And I always wonder, why is that? Because the others do have the vaccine. So there, why should they be at risk? Well, there's some kids that can't get the vaccine because they have immune issues to begin with. So they just can't get vaccinated. But for the rest of us, no vaccine is 100 percent effective. If it's 70 to 90 percent, we're very happy. So that means if you get a vaccine, if there's enough people that have that same infection, let's say measles, then there's a chance you could get it if you get exposed mm -hmm. enough to it. And so that's the big concern. It could spread, obviously, to one without vaccines, but could spread to others as well. Let's talk about some of these myths that a lot of people talk about. One is they think that the vaccines will bring on autism. What are the facts on it? And that's the one that kind of started the whole thing back in the 90s. It was a study that's been disproven. It was a bad study. It's been taken away. Multiple studies have shown, no, there's no connection to the point where Denmark released a study this week. 600,000 children, they followed them for 10 years. They looked at their vaccine schedules, how many vaccines they got, and whether they developed autism. And they found out no connection between the two to the point where they said in the study, those that received the MMR vaccine were 7% less likely to develop autism. Wow. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean MMR doesn't cause autism, means there's no connection. So all of us have small children. We've taken our kids in for these vaccinations. And, and truth be told, when you're getting three or four, maybe even five at a time, it can be a bit alarming. Mm -hmm. as, as there are a lot of folks who think that the, an infant's body can't handle mm -hmm. that many vaccinations. What it, do the facts say about and, that? And they talk about the immune system. The infant's immune system isn't strong enough. They have very strong immune systems to begin with. And as 
as a parent, I'm the same way. You've seen parents, you've seen your kids run around, they have a temperature of 103, and they look like they're normal. They're not having any problems. That's their immune system. It's very strong. They can take these shots. They get exposed to thousands of germs every day. These shots have a few germs in them that are trying to prime their system. It's just a small percentage of what they get exposed to. Real quickly, another thing people say is, well, my immune system, the human immune system is better than any yeah. vaccine, to which you say. If you've been exposed to it, it is better because it can protect you, but you have to be exposed to it. Measles has a 1 in 500 death rate. Wow. The vaccine has a one in a million chances of getting allergic reaction. So you have to million? look at the ba wow. balance there. So it's, it's, again, you have to be exposed to deadly diseases to be protected from deadly diseases. The vaccines work the vaccine. with your immune system. Exactly. That's the reason we do them. Yeah. All right. Dr. Torres, thank you. We appreciate it.